Hi everyone, this is Life in Florida. My name is Ari. Today we will talk about avocados and the avocado trees I have in the backyard. Come with me. Welcome to sunny Florida. This is the avocado tree that uh, I got about five years ago from my husband's parents. It was a birthday present, the best birthday present ever, by the way. So you can see how tall it got. And this is the earliest avocado variety in South Florida. It is the Siemens variety huge huge avocados beautiful shiny and they are not bad tasting either although my my ultimate favorite is the Hess avocado I love the little and the fattiness of it and the nuttiness of it nothing better than a nice fatty avocado. The quality of the fruit it's close to or excellent actually but like I said I'm kind of biased because I love the fattier ones but this one get a nice nutty flavor as well but it get more water content than the California the Hess or the Mexican Hess. I believe that we also have a Hess, the Florida Hess. I haven't tasted that avocado yet, but as the name kind of describes it, I most likely just tastes like Hess, but it's better for this climate as we have a lot of humidity, unlike uh, California. So, this is my oldest tree in the yard. This is the only tree that actually uh, gives us fruit and I have a couple of other kinds why don't you see so this is a bacon avocado supposed to taste like bacon as the name says it so I'm super excited to try this kind and uh, so hopefully uh, this is a grafted one I just planted it this year. I got it as a Christmas present, <laughs> early Christmas present for the next three years, I think. Yeah, I get a lot of Christmas presents from my husband. Poor husband. <laughs> so let me show you the other one, which is a Brogdon, Brogdon variety. This one is from my old house and it's a seedling so i'm not exactly sure if this is gonna come true to the mother plant but the mother plant was very old and just a beautiful beautiful tree i never seen such a big beautiful avocado tree in my life before i moved to that house and so before i moved out i was like i really have to take a little part of that avocado tree so i saw a little seedling coming up right underneath the avocado tree and I took it. It was very tiny. It was like itty bitty, <laughs> very, very little. And so for uh, probably one and a half, two years, it didn't do much. And uh, I just tried to remember to water it all the time. And uh, after like two years, it just started to grow like crazy actually this year i had to trim it i had to cut it back because it's too close to the house and i'm afraid that it will uh, be not really good for the for the um, foundation. foundation thank you foundation yeah so i i'm hoping that next year uh, we will taste 
this avocado, which uh, the mother plant is a brogdon. And it's just, a brogdon is super nice. It's like purplish, uh, blackish, like a leather skin around. And it's a, it's a good size and uh, very delicious it's like nutty uh, it reminds me to actually have like fattier of the taste i really love the taste of it so yeah who doesn't like a fatty avocado <laughs> i know i do so let me show you the other little ones they are baby This is an Oron I grow for, for a long time. It was kind of, uh, ooh, Sri Lanka will. Uh, yep, I had to do that. Oops. So. What was that? A Sri Lankan will. It's not a good bug to have. <laughs> so it's a squish bug. <laughs> and uh, this was an Oron I grow, but yeah that's another story i'm not gonna get into it so this one is just uh, underneath the graph i don't know what kind of avocado will be because it's at this point it's a seedling and this one is oh mosquitoes are bad um this one is the uh, uh marcus pumpkin i got this from a friend who also loves fruit trees and grow fruit trees and uh, thank you for that <laughs> if you ever watch it so uh, and uh, because I am so curious about this avocado I haven't tasted it but I heard so much good about it Oro Negro as the name says it in uh, Spanish black gold so it should be probably pretty delicious. <laughs> so these are my baby avocado trees. And so where is the actual gold tree planted? <laughs> gold that we pay for all this work? They, they are all gold <laughs> to me. <laughs> but yeah, these are all the avocados. They are small yet, but hopefully in like a year or two, most of them, because they are from uh, Graph, they will probably will bear fruit. So now I'm gonna go and taste one of our Simmons avocado. So let's try it. It looks like an avocado, a nice looking avocado. Looks exactly like one. <laughs> so let me take this. I am going for a spoon. I like to spoon it out. So one more time. This is the Simmons, the one, the big tree, the, the only tree that actually uh, giving us avocados. This is the Simmons kind, okay? Get a little sweetness, not too sweet, but a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of nuttiness, which I like nuttiness. The nutty flavor, just like the has, but it's not as strong. Very smooth, creamy, perfectly ripe. It's not bad. All right, let me try some. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking at his face. That tastes exactly like an avocado. Well, could you just <laughs> try to explain that a little? Like... I'm just behind the camera. Okay. So, but did you it's like good. it? It's good, yeah, it's a good avocado. Okay. I'm gonna taste it one more time. Mm. Very good. 
This is the perfect baby food too. I have a seven months old and he loves it. He can eat this whole thing. He has a good appetite. I like that it's not like rudy like some of them get. Oh, that uh, you know when they are um, juvenile, when they are just young, sometimes you can find like they have like stripes, like kind of like, um, how can I explain? The roots? Kind of like roots, but it's not rude, but like little, uh, like, um, roots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, I guess. But yeah, I, um, the first year I remember when we only had one avocado on the tree. I have to be grateful. We had one three years ago, I think, four, three years ago. Uh, and uh, we had one avocado and that one actually get the, those little pieces of, uh, looks like a little root system, like capillaries. Uh, this one is like getting less and less. So this is really smooth. It's an excellent quality for um to eat and um, it grows very well here and what i realized what worked for me is when i mulched it they always thanking you whenever you give them some love you get the return back every time every time uh, what what else i can say that you guys saw the uh tree it was a what would you say, 20, 25 feet? Yeah, 25. 20, 25 feet. It, they can grow up 30 by 20. Uh, so it's a good tree. It's not like humongous. It's a good tree. It's a good backyard tree for everybody to have. And they it ripens early, so it's really good because, I mean, you know, whenever you want to make guacamole or I even make key lime pie from it, it's, it's super good. And um, this one ripens mid-June to um, mid-September, I believe. And uh, so, I mean, it, you have it for a couple of months. About the avocado, for the longest time, I didn't know that they had so many kinds. I just only saw in the, at the store that they had the California has or the Mexican has. And uh, the little one, the little fatty one and the one, the big one, which is more watery. And I, I thought that it was a big one and a small one. And now I'm like, oh, this is amazing. I mean, they have bacon flavor. They have the Oro Negro. I, I never had a chance to try it, but I can't wait. <laughs> and uh, so it, there's just so many variety and uh, it grows very well. Most of it grows very well. Uh, southwest Florida. So probably for two, three days I will not be making new videos because we will be very busy working our butt off with this mulch. But if you like these videos, push a like and subscribe. That would help. Thank you.